these interpreters are so fascinating to me. Um, the bold stances that they took, their repeated assertion of their humanity. So I think I'm thinking about like Pennington, for example, when he begins his, um, his autobiography, he talks about, you know, just the horrors of slavery. And he calls out those who say, oh, but there are kind Christian masters, right? And he calls out and he says, yeah, we have kind Christian masters. But what is that to us? Like, what advantage is that? Because <laughs> he's, because he, he says exactly what we're talking about. These Christian masters are still raping the women. They're still separating our families. They're still, you know, engaging in these horrific acts. What does that matter? And then he talks about how, um, African Americans are listed in the same catalog as animals, right? He gives that list. And so when you read his autobiography, you see how he details the horrors of slavery. But then there's a part of his autobiography when he's, when he sends a letter to his parents after he escapes, he sends a letter to his parents and he tells them, I don't want you, I know there are people who are preaching that the gospel is for slavery, but I don't want you to listen to them because the gospel, he says, is anti-sin and it's also anti-slavery. So there's a sense that he understands what the gospel is about. And what the gospel is about, that these white interpreters, the slave ministers, that's not the gospel, he says, you know, he's encouraging his parents, don't listen to them. The gospel is anti-sin and anti-slavery. So there's this sense that they understand what the true gospel entails. And they're, they're making this distinction between the true gospel and the false gospel. And you see it even in Frederick Douglass, when Frederick Douglass makes a distinction between slaveholding Christianity, he says, and the Christianity of Christ. And he makes that distinction and says, slaveholding Christianity and Christianity of Christ are two different things. And the slaveholding Christianity is what's being practiced in the South. It's not the Christianity of Christ. So you see this distinction being made repeatedly by these interpreters between, you know, these two di very different understandings of what the gospel is. And those words from Pennington, like if Pennington was on Twitter, it'd be like retweet, 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 uh, <laughs> on fire. He's on yeah. fire. Uh, I mean, all these writers exactly. are just on fire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Dogato podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.